Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. I'm coming up on two years of living in Austin and me and my boyfriend kind of just want to switch it up. We've been in our same apartment for two years and we kind of wanted to just see what else is out there. So today I'm actually touring Riverside and I actually live on Riverside, but I live a little bit further down. I did want to tour a little closer to the highway. I think one of them is a little further down just because I wanted to give you guys some price options too and just see it for myself. We originally chose Riverside to live on because my boyfriend worked at Oracle when we first moved here and Oracle is right on Riverside. It's literally surrounded by so many apartment complexes and it's right by Lady Bird Lake. Riverside is a great place if you're post-grad and looking for some amazing deals and apartments. I feel like the prices here are not as bad as, you know, a little bit closer to downtown and Riverside isn't even that far. Like I said, I'm a little further down Riverside and I'm like 15 minutes-ish from downtown. So if you like were really close to the highway, you know, you'd be like not even 10 minutes from downtown. I do recommend checking out Riverside for those reasons, but unfortunately there are some cons about Riverside and I talk about all of them and my pros and cons living in Austin video. So I'll link that down below if you guys are interested. If you're apartment touring like me, I highly recommend to get an apartment locator. And I've been working with Smart City ATX on this whole series and they've been really helping me out because I basically gave them everything I wanted, like a white kitchen, um, good lighting and a unit and they kind of went through their system and pulled me like the best of the best apartments they created a personalized list and set up the tours for me so they did all the hard work and now I get to do the fun part which is actually tour the places once you decide on a place and sign a lease the agent that you're working with at smart city gets a commission from the apartment that you signed at so this service is completely free if you happen to stumble across this video and you're not looking to move to Austin don't worry because smart city actually operates in a bunch of major cities like Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, Atlanta, Denver, and Nashville. Also, if you're interested in any of these apartments that you see in this video, go ahead and click the link in my bio to get in contact with a local licensed real estate agent. Make sure to send them a screenshot of the apartment that you're interested in from this video um, because then they'll be able to give you all the info from there and set up tours for you. More info about Smart City services will be down below and now it is time to start touring apartments. I was so excited about this first place because I always drive past it when I'm going to downtown and I finally got to tour inside of it. So first we're gonna show the amenities. These are just kind of like all the common areas. They have this cute little kitchen and then they have this cycle room and then a full gym, which is great. I have two options over here. And then this is like a sky deck kind of thing, just a lounge area and their pool is huge. The first unit we're touring is a two by two. It is 1070 square feet and it is pretty spacious, I would say. I loved that in the common area, they have this built-in desk. It was so cute and it's definitely space efficient. And then the living room was on the smaller size, I will say, but the bedrooms did not disappoint. I'm pretty sure both of the beds in the rooms were king size and you still had a good amount of room to walk in front of it and on the sides of it. And then going into the bathroom, we have an updated bathroom. I do wish that the showers both had the glass doors, but um, they have the tubs and then you would have to just buy your own shower curtain. The closet was huge though. It's pretty much like a room in itself. Walking into the master bedroom, it is a little bit bigger than the room that we just toured. Um, as you can see on the sides, there's just a little bit more space to walk around. Here's the bathroom. I love the built-ins over here. And then we have a shower with a stand-up shower instead of a bathtub, but you still need that shower curtain. Moving on to our second property of the day, the amenities were not available to tour because they're still in construction, but this was a one bedroom and it was really big. I mean, for being 912 square feet, it really felt super spacious because of the tall ceilings and this living room was gigantic in person and the lighting in here was amazing. The windows were so big and they actually had two windows in the living room. Even in the bedroom, the window is really big so it brought in a lot of natural light which is amazing and then here's the bathroom i really liked all of the storage in here it's definitely going to help me out and then in the closet they actually have the washer and dryer which is kind of cool because you could just literally put your dirty clothes and just wash them and then fold them in your closet itself for this next property, I actually toured it on another day, so I just ended up using my phone to film it, but this is a luxury apartment complex. I feel like you can definitely tell because the furniture is just so luxe, 
Look at this beautiful view of downtown. I could not get over it. The pool was a little bit small, but it was still a beautiful outside area. And then look at this view from the freaking gym. It was so crazy to see. And this gym just like has it all. In this apartment complex, we toured a one bedroom because they didn't even have any two beds to show. So this is 794 square feet and it is a little bit pricier, but as I said before, it is a luxury apartment complex. So everything's pretty much updated and the closet is huge. Time to tour our last property of the day. They had an amazing common area, just so many places to work from home. As you guys know, me and Ryan both work from home. So we definitely wanted some options to work outside of our apartment. And then here's the gym. It's huge. It has pretty much everything you could ever need. They had fire pits, which were super cute, just like a really nice outside area. And then a pool, of course. I was able to tour a two bedroom, two bathroom, and it was 1200 square feet, which is really spacious. I mean, the place I'm living now is I think 1298, so not much off. And as you can tell in the bedroom, there's just like a lot of room to walk in front of the bed and on the sides of it, you can even put a dresser and you know, really utilize that space. The bathrooms were pretty updated. They did have this like wood finishing on all of the cabinets, which isn't my favorite, but I don't mind it. This closet was a little bit funky, but I know in the other bedroom, it is a little bit bigger. Walking into the kitchen over here, it has that same wood finishings. And here's the other bedroom. I couldn't really tell if this one was a little bit bigger. Maybe they were kind of like the same size, but as you can see, the closet is a little bit bigger in this room. I just got done touring all of the Riverside apartments and the second one has my heart because of the windows and the natural light. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could experience it in person. It was just so bright in there. You guys know that is my number one factor, having natural light and a white kitchen. Two things that I like have to have in an apartment. And a lot of these Riverside places are a lot newer. So the one actually didn't have like the pool and the gym to show because it's so new and they're still working on it when any newer property says like that you're going to be the first ones to live in it i feel like that is just music to my ears because it's just like a good feeling you know knowing that you're going to be the first one to live there this is going to be my last apartment touring video because it is time to freaking pick a place i've been so picky honestly and shout out to my apartment locator smart city for being so understanding because i just like want to see everything that's out there there's just so many new places that I didn't even know existed that they told me about so I'm really glad I got to tour them and now it is time for me and Ryan to choose and I'll definitely be updating you guys in my vlog so subscribe if you are new I post a lot of Austin content Austin vlogs so if you're interested in living here you can see what to do in the city what to eat there's so much good food here I cannot get over it and also go follow me on Instagram because you can see it all in real time I have a bunch of like Austin highlights with food and just like Austin in general that you can just tap through to get ideas of what to do and what to eat like i said at the beginning of this video if you saw an apartment that you liked definitely go to the link in the description to get matched with a local licensed real estate agent from smart city and you can just send them a screenshot from this video and they'll probably know exactly which one it is also while you're at it go ahead and follow them on instagram and tiktok they post a lot of awesome tours actually one of the places i toured today i found through just an instagram post from them and then i just told my apartment locator i want to tour this place because the windows it was the second one and the windows just like oh, they were calling my name so that is it of this apartment touring series i hope you guys enjoyed it and subscribe to stay updated on where we choose so i will see y'all in my next video bye